In this section, we'll be looking at the topic of market basket analysis. So we'll see what a market basket analysis goals are. We'll be finding out where MBA algorithms are useful. We'll be implementing MBA map reduce algorithm in Spark. And also at the end, we will be finding association rules between products. And this is a first video of this section. And we'll be trying to find out about market basket analysis goals. So we'll see what an MBA is and MBA goals. So what an MBA is? Market basket analysis is a popular data mining technique frequently used by marketing and e-commerce professionals to reveal affinities between individual products or product groupings. One basket tells you about what one customer purchased at one time, and loyalty card make it possible to tie together purchases by a single customer over time. So this is one of the use cases of MBA. But let's explain what the MBA actually is. So the general goal of data mining is to extract interesting correlated information from a large collection of data, for example, millions of supermarket or credit card sales transactions. Market basket analysis helps us identify items likely to be purchased together and association rule mining finds correlation between items in a set of transactions. Marketers might then use these association rules to place correlated products next to each other on store shelves or online so that customers buy more items. Finding frequent sets in mining association rules for market basket analysis is a very computationally intensive problem. Make it in an ideal use case for MapReduce and Spark framework. So MapReduce solution is expandable to find the most frequently occurring tuples of products. So let's look at the example. So let's say that we have an input that is at the beginning of this slide. So we have a first transaction and that transaction consists of two products, A and C. Then second transaction, B and D. Third transaction consists of three products, A, C and E. Fourth transaction is C and E. Five one is A, B, E. And the last transaction is B and E. And then this is an input to our algorithm, MBA algorithm. And output should be as the following. So the C, a sequence of one element, element C, occurs three times in transaction one, three, and four. Sequence of transaction A, one element, also three times, B three times, and E four times, because it is in transaction three, four, five, and six. Next, we are analyzing longer patterns. So the sub pattern A and C appear twice. So those two items were bought together two times in transaction one and transaction three. C and E pattern was bought also two times, A, E two times and B, E two times. And we can leverage Apache Spark to calculate those occurrences from big data set of transactions. So Spark can split that computation and find out occurrences of those products.